All right. So, hi, uh, Brian. Thanks for uh, taking the time for a small interview. Absolutely. So, uh, you just got started today. What's your first impres um, impression of the Gamescom right now? Uh, we've been busy from the moment uh, the doors open. People are in line, people are playing, having fun. So, it's so far so good. Typically, I mean, the, the day is now open to the public starting, you know, tomorrow. Usually, there's a, another 50, 100% the amount of people, so I can imagine it's going to get crazier and crazier as the week goes. Yeah, I can imagine that too, but it's uh, for the first day, it's, it's a pretty long queue, right? Yeah, yeah, we were actually just talking about it. We may have to run the line the other way because it's getting so big. I feel bad that we're bumping into the neighbor's booth. All right, and uh, so um, you got the live streams on the, uh, right now, and um, so uh, how does this go so far? Does it work really well with the live streamers right now? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying not to kill him. I'm looking at Jared right now streaming. Uh, we're trying not to kill him, but uh, they're in like two hour blocks. Uh, they started at 12. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been interesting. So I think there's multiple feeds they have going at once. They're showing the game, then they got a video on the audience and a video on people playing. So it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting to stream while people are playing. And you know, so far so good. Cool, and uh, what, what build is it right now that people can play right here? Is it 2.4 or? They're still playing 2.4. Um, we believe by soon here, maybe later today, that it's going to be, we're going to push it a little bit more and have people have hands on for a little bit more. All right, okay. And um, you're with uh, Foundry42 in Frankfurt, yep. right? And uh, you, the, t the team there is expanding uh, like rapidly. Um, so, uh, and I, I think you've got additional rooms right now, or yeah. are you still planning on expanding that? Yeah, we just, uh, I think, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, um, got the official handover of the space. So, we originally had space for 49, like 600 square meters. We just built out another f roughly 400 square meters. So, we can now fit another 25 people in there. Wow, that's good. Yeah, wow. So we're actually, our IT guy, or one of our IT guys is actually moving people there this week while I'm not there and other people are out of the office. <laughs> okay, wow. And, and what's the main focus of Foundry 42 Frankfurt right now? So what, what part of the game are you mainly like concerned with? Well, I think a, a lot of people know we have a lot of uh, tech, right? Strong, strong tech guys there. Two senior technical directors, uh, lead animation programmer, uh, lead physics and so on. So there is a big push on that. Other than that though, we also handle other, uh, we're, we're driving uh, a lot of the AI for both NPCs and ships. Um, we're driving a lot of design, both uh, level design and system design. <clears throat> that touches PU, that touches squadron, that touches a bunch of stuff. We also have uh, the full cinematics department. So all the cinematics for squadron 42. Um, uh, weapons, doing all the weapons. Sorry, it's been a busy day already. Uh, weapons, we have a small weapons department and we're really driving for the weapons. Uh, we got a small QA team, uh, an effects artist and so on. So we do have some chunky things that we own, mm -hmm. but really, um, and I can't stress this enough, we really share responsibilities across all the studios, right? So even though we're driving AI, there's AI programmers in the UK that are amazing. Um, and and so on. It's so it really is a cross studio development. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Speaking of this cross studio development, which is uh, yeah, pr pretty amazing thing. So uh, that you have like studios around the world working together on one big project. Uh, but actually, what what are the the instruments how you do it? Do you use like Skype or what kind of technology do you use it to to coordinate yourselves? Yeah. I mean, we have uh, depositories, if you will, that have all of our documentation. Uh, various programs that we use, so we make sure that all the documents and and bugs and tasks are all updated and shared, and, and we use the same system, obviously, throughout all the studios. And we do, honestly, use a lot of Skype. Um, Skype now is to a point through all the studios that it's just like an extension of the team. Um, at any point, an artist will be working on something. Um, he'll have a Skype call with two artists in the UK and the lead artist out there and one guy in LA. They're chatting just like they were in the same room. They're sharing screens, they're reviewing material. You'll have a producer online as well. He'll be making notes and setting new tasks. So uh, there's always room for improvement. I don't think there's any perfect way to do it, but you just have to find something that works for you and what, 
environment you have and make sure it's consistent um, across all the studios. And uh, getting back to AI, and uh, which is a big part of your work, as I understand, and um, which uh, I, I think it's it's called subsumption with uh, Star Citizen, right? And uh, just uh, just a small heads up: when when can we expect to see like the first NPCs and and, and AI, AI and the PU? Um, progress is going good. I I don't know an exact date of when you'll be able to see stuff. We have stuff that's in right now that's functioning. Um, you'll see some levels, some early levels, uh, inputs of it, if you will, um, at the event on Friday. So you'll see a little bit more, and then that's just going to build more traction and traction and traction, right? Um, a lot of stuff to sort out between the NPCs, the way they navigate the world, how they interact. A lot of details for us to, to dial in there, and we want to make sure it's dialed in before we hand it over to people. Right, because the last thing we want is to work hard in the system and have things not aligned, and people look at it and just kind of laugh at us, right? So it, it's taking some time, but it's definitely making progress. All right, and um, you've been uh, before you uh, you joined CIG, you've been with Crytek, as I understand, right? Uh, so you like the, uh, the the Cry Engine is like your your baby, I can say that. I hope so. So uh, what's uh, um, you've been developing with the Cry Engine a lot and, and expanding it and changing it and stuff. Uh, so from your personal point of view, what's uh, the the most like exciting thing about the the uh, like uh, different Cry Engine you're working with right, with right now? I would say I mean we're over probably over 50 percent modified from the base Cry Engine. It's it's to a point where we're We're not really even taking any drops at all, and we haven't for a while. Um, you know, the Cry Engine is strong in what it does, um, and it can make beautiful things. We're just we're just taking the time now to expand it, push it in certain directions that we need, so it can run the game the way we need the game to run. All right, cool. Thank you very much for this interview. Hope to see you again here, and we see you definitely on Friday, I think.